WJZ celebrating Pride Month. And tonight we're going to take you back through generations, highlighting important moments, places, and people in Maryland's history. So, right now, WJZ is live in Mount Vernon, where Baltimore's first Pride celebration took place. Christina Mendez spoke with historians about our past that paved the way for our present. Christina. Hey there, Preservation Maryland is helping to pin LGBTQ history from rural counties to right here in the city. Community sites can be found pretty much everywhere. LGBTQ communities have always been here. Nicholas Redding brings us back to Mount Vernon in 1975. There, a small group of activists came together for the first time to hold a peaceful demonstration. But over the years, it evolved into Baltimore Pride, one of Maryland's largest visibility events. One of them took place right at the Washington Monument. The neighborhood was also once a central hub in the city for LGBTQ clubs and bars when the community had nowhere else to turn. But over time, diversity acceptance has created a melting pot for everyone. So places like Leon's stand out as sort of survivors from that time period. But you look at something like the Hippo in Baltimore, which was sort of an iconic LGBTQ um, bar, and that has been lost and is now a CVS. Long before those bars or clubs existed, Benjamin Eagerman, a librarian, says Baltimore laid roots in drag ball dating back to 1930. In West Baltimore, it's around Penn North. Um, that's where all of that was centered. Eagerman says while Baltimore was unique and not shutting down drag shows as neighboring D.C. did, the city faces other serious struggles, including racism. Not just the struggle for LGBTQ rights, but also the struggle against racism. While decades of bricklaying brought us to today, Eagerman says this community has always and will always be part of Baltimore. This month is a really good opportunity to sort of make the point that we're not just here now, that we've always been here. And I'll be putting a broad history on WJZ.com later tonight. You can check it out there. Back to you in the studio.